Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're good today. So today I have sort of a message for you. It's not really sort of a message. It is a message. And I want to talk to you about a few things coming up for you uh, very shortly here. So the topic of this is transformation. And I'm going to loosely say, the big kiss off. So what is this big kiss off? What does that mean? Well, a lot of people have been getting the big kiss off from 3D. And you've either getting, been getting pushed out the door, you've been becoming confused, you've been somehow having your twin seem like they have dropped off the face of the earth. And why? Why would it feel like this? What is happening where you feel unmotivated or you actually feel as though you've about had it with some of this twin flame stuff. Well, guess what? You're at a good point because how this occurs is through transformation. How any change occurs begins with transformation. Now, in a physical way, you can look at people and see they've, you know, you could take someone as an example that has lost quite a bit of weight. And how did they do it? They transformed their self. They did it usually not by themselves, but it started with an internal decision and something within them. Okay. Now, it is no different when it comes to your twin flame journey. But this is going to be transformation by sundown. What is the sundown? That's going to be the solar eclipse that happens in August of 2017. Largely visible all across the United States. It's making a swath across the United States. Although this is going to be visible from other parts in the world, some of those parts are on the ocean. So unless you're on a ship or in a certain area, it may not be visible to you. This full moon, the June full moon, will have things both subtle and glaring of what to change. And this is already happening for people. They're feeling subtle changes. Why? Because transformation happens at the most minute level possible. For twin flames it does. It'll start changing you right at the molecular level. And some people don't like it. Some people become a bit frightened by it or alarmed or at the very least confused. Very few of us are welcoming it and going, woohoo, yeah, bring those changes on, bring on the discomfort. None of us likes discomfort. None of us likes pain or reliving something or feeling like you're being batted through things. Nobody does. Hey, not me, not anybody, not any of the people that I help. So the subtle changes, what are some of these? These are going to be things right down to the most minute part of you. Some of them will become glaringly obvious with explosions. Now, what do I mean by explosions? It might be that something in your personal union blows up. Not necessarily some of the karmic explosions that keep happening. And I am very, very, very very saddened by the things that I see in the world. And I don't see all of it. I gave up looking at the news, but it is difficult to not at some level hear about or know about some of the things that are happening. And yet the more you focus on what the world is doing, the less you're focusing on your own union. You have to focus on your union. That is how you are going to get away from these things because karmic things still will be happening. The ego mind knows nothing else. And in many ways, it's just simply history repeating itself with better weapons or stronger things. Extreme, extreme. And yet, as the subtle things happen, the subtle transformations happen, you get less affected. The next part of what we're coming into does have a lot to do with the psyche. And I want to just mention, 
psyche and narcissistic tendencies a lot of people have learned this very long word narcissism narcissist my twins are narcissistic they only think about themselves they only want what's best for them narcissism equals survival okay they're survivalists they might be extreme survivalists and they may be someone that you know has learned to put themselves first why because usually there hasn't really been anyone else to rely on they've been abandoned they've been shamed they've been judged they've been booted out and they've learned to navigate in survival mode and these are survival tactics okay so let's get this back into the proportion it is because your psyche isn't operating narcissistically that is the ego and that is going to be parts of the mental emotional body and not the true essence and you might even say that you might say I know who my twin is I know who my twin is up here good good that's a part of this process because it is a process that will keep progressing along until this part up here is this part right here and it's right there and it's right there and it's right there and you're living with that part of you thriving equals body integration detachment from 3d and what happens when you detach from 3d believe it or not ladies and gentlemen this results in depression so if you're feeling mildly depressed or if your twin is complaining of depression and you're there and you're like putting up your you know going like this and saying oh my goodness they're depressed I don't know how to help my twin my twin is just depressed or my twin wants to take meds for this or that and that is the avenue that they may seek some help ideally they're not self-medicating but if they are self-medicating with drugs alcohol other people sex pornography you name it um, even fighting picking fights drama etc you're gonna feel it okay many of the levels of where you've been apart from each other no longer exist you're getting closer and closer and that is where the squares are where you align your parts and the elements what are the elements I'm referring to everything you tucked in back in April having to do with air water fire earth and love and those aspects of it and where those parts of you have been connected out there whether it's in a collective whether it's in a timeline whether it is to another person whether it is to another dimension or planet where have you and how are you going to get the alignment so the, ta the today that I'm doing this this is a Sun square Neptune and this is in a very simple way especially as we get to the full moon where Jupiter stations direct this is going to be about the manifestation of dreams the dreams that you've had and some of this might be something along the lines of I dream of being free and suddenly you find yourself out of a job or I dream of being self-employed and I find myself out of a job that might be more along the lines of your dream or I wish I were single I wish I wasn't married I wish I didn't have these responsibilities we have hopefully with some of these Mars retrogrades gotten rid of some of the wishes of I wish something would happen to this person so that I could be free that is very heavy shadowy dualistic but now it might be a little lighter more subtle version of it of I wish I knew what was going on and then boom you find out what has been going on in your twins life and you're like whoa whoa too much information I didn't quite want to know that but now you know it now it's there and now what do you do how do you be how do you get it shifted how do you get it into a proper correctional path how do you align yourself so there is another thing that happens with this square this is your bearings and this is also having a lot to do with the moral compass 
how you align with each other and get yourself corrected and right with each other. How do you get on the hearts, same heart wavelength? That's what some of these squares are going to be. No matter what planet it is or whatever, um, many astrologers will have this information. But when it comes to twin flames, you're doing this. Until every part of you starts, you know, coming in and you are starting to twine yourselves. Because even people who have already had certain merges with themselves, there's more to come. And there is more coming by sundown. So when the sun is covered up and this is going to be a closure, you've already been closing doors to 3D resulting in some form of depression. And it might feel like apathy. You might feel like you're out of energy. It's going to feel like certain aches and pains too. So how would you know some of this? Well, some of it isn't real obvious to people. That's the thing about the subtle bodies. It's sometimes very subtle. So I have a little demo here. And I have a twin who has known about the twin. And they met, but things didn't go very well. And neither one of them really knew what to do. And she had a little swan song about it, about survival. At first I was afraid, I was petrified, kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. And then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong, and I grew strong, and I learned how to get along. And so you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here without that look upon your face. I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have made you leave your key. If I'd have known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. Just turn around now, because you're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one that tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? No, but she did get depressed and she thought she was dying. Oh, no, not I. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my life to live, not without me. And I've got all my love to give, all to me. I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. And they are actually going to get together. But some things have to be different because while she did find her dignity, there were also some other things that happened for her very subtly. She found herself again. And this is a part of the process where, you know, you push, 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 but you have to sometimes come back to yourself. It's a requirement. It's something that you know. It's something that in getting to know yourself, keeping the balance of masculine and feminine, no matter who you are. And you could be two masculines, or you could be two, you could be two feminines, okay? You still have each electric and magnetic energy that you're balancing, okay? And many of you are undergoing a polarity shift. I spoke about that in one of my previous blue infusions with quite a bit of detail of how this looks, how it plays out, what to do, how to integrate. And no matter who you are or what body you have, you're going to be going through stuff so that what? You're able to thrive. You're able to thrive. You're able to do the body integration, stay out of depression, and stay away from the collective because things may still be happening. There are going to be people not yet awakened, and it's okay. They're on next year's timeline. 
But for a lot of you, if this is, even if this is fairly recent for you, that you are just finding out what some of this is. If you have met your twin, if you've been interacting with your twin, your timeline's more than likely on this year. In fact, I'll say 80% you're on this year. And along with transformation does come miracles, small miracles, crescendos of miracles, and also the blessings from above, the very things that you've been wishing for. So that some of what happens is during these, you know, squares or during these retrogrades, you can go back, revisit, review, redo, correct, address things, and then you can move forward and have, you know, things go stationary where you might have the couple that says, oh, I didn't think I'd see you again. Honestly, I changed my locks. You know, I, I closed you off. I didn't ever think you were coming back. But I have all of the locks and keys to your heart. Oh, well, I didn't know that because I was determined not to let you in ever again. It just hurt. But you didn't die. But it still hurt. My heart split into a million tiny pieces. I'm so sorry. And you may not hear the words right away. You may not hear it. You may simply be in the same place at the same time, but even this will be a miracle. You may be living with your person and start to hear their insights, start to have them take care of you. But in the bigger way, the how of it, how you ever felt each other to begin with was through the body. And there's two things incumbent on every twin flame couple. And those two things are this. Know yourself, meaning know your body, and heart communication. And heart communication is not telepathy. It happens in a different area of the body than up here. Many people feel telepathy and it feels usually centered around here. And it will also um, make people feel pressured, headaches, buzzings, migraine headaches, et cetera, et cetera. And there's all kinds of other things that have been tangled up with other people in the collective. So how many entanglements do you have? How many entanglements does your twin have? How many things have you been up to? You're, you're possibly not going to know all of this. But what you will know, and this is another thing, is that for those people, if you are seeking help and the people who are helping you can only go so far with it, meaning that they're reading the mind, they're reading the mental, or they're reading the ego, you're not going to get to the place where you need to go. You're not going to get the help for your subtle bodies. Now, that is what I am doing in my blue infusion. And through the blue infusion, I do several things. This is a live group webinar. You can be a part of the group and participate. I do live question and answer. I keep the groups kind of tight. They're also recorded for you to review. I give you some support material. And I also, I, while I encourage participation, you can just turn off your cam webcam, you can turn off your microphone and simply listen. If you're kind of shy, and this is some of it, while you're going through certain things, you may feel the need to isolate. Sometimes a group helps, sometimes a group is not what you need. But then when it is what you need, if you are opening up these new parts of yourself, or you feel like you're somehow, you know, here, and you're sort of hitting your own head and you feel like there's some kind of glass ceiling here, I'm not getting it, I'm not breaking through, not getting my guidance, I am not uh, feeling my twin. If any of these things I describe are happening to you, consider joining because getting back to feeling your twin and feeling the guidance that's specific for you actually is vitally important.
okay? Because there's numerous things that you're addressing as you head towards the exit of the eclipse energy, okay? This is going to be a huge door closing. And there are people out there that still in their minds are separating the divine from themselves and their, bo their light body from their human body. But more and more, you'll find that all of the parts of you, that there's really no separation, including your other half, including your other half, that, you know, while you might not, you, you might have had separate experiences that you're trying to put together, you're not going to put it together with your head. You're not going to put it together with your lower chakras. You're not going to call it in over a telephone. You're not going to type it out to them. You're not going to email them or send it by a carrier pigeon or do, you know, send up a flare. Some of you have been sending up flares. Yes, you have. Pff, SOS, I help. I need help over here. I am having a spiritual emergency. Where are you? Yes, you've been. How do you get that? How do you get the true assistance that you need and the guidance for your union and you and you? So as she sang in the song that, yes, she should have done this, she shouldn't have done that, she closed him off, she didn't think she'd ever see him again, and here he is showing up from outer space. Yes, from outer space. It's not the thing that came from outer space either. It is your love of many lifetimes, many, 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 cosmic and galactic romances and adventures. What? Space drama? Oh no. Yes. Well, we've left the space drama behind. However, you are here for your brand new romance. Well, I'm all about romance and kissing and I couldn't ever stop thinking of him. I couldn't ever stop thinking. Well, I never stopped thinking about you. Yes, but that's as far as it went. And I could feel you thinking of me. Well, I could th feel you thinking of me. I couldn't even work. I had to tune you out too. But why are we tuning out each other? Yes, why are they tuning out each other? Why aren't they feeling each other? Why aren't they feeling with their hearts? Why aren't they feeling all lovey-dovey and with their hearts? Partly because all of the ways that used to connect you, that's where you connected in other places especially if you were in survival mode, living in a planet, especially if maybe your culture or your religion or your family was saying, go be with that person. They're like our kind. And you, and you say to yourself, they're nothing like me. I feel like oil and water with them. That person ruffles my feathers. Men no longer look at me or women no longer look at me. I, I used to attract people. I used to have fun. Now I can't have any more fun. And what's fun? What's fun in 3D is not always the fun that is where you're going here. So the blue infusion that I will focus on here will be about your psyche subtle body. I will help you open your channels, which enables you to release in some of the areas of the body where you need to for heart communication. I'll be doing this live. It'll be recorded so you can practice it and integration and your moral compass, or at least getting you to in an alignment. And these are happening. I realize these are sort of swapped. June 7th at 8 a.m. Now, 8 a.m. Chicago time, that is in the afternoon in Europe. It is, I think, the evening in Australia. Uh, there's about a 12 to 14, 15 hour difference. So that would be in the evening or on the 8th at 7 p.m., which would be the next morning in Australia, or it's going to be later in the night in Europe. But this is uh, much easier for people living on the West Coast, Hawaii, India, Australia, some part of Asia, and these two times for Blue Infusion. The links are below. And these are set up to make this much more accessible to people to use the synergism of a group. And yes, one of the things I will talk about is how do you be near people and not let them get to you? 
Okay, so this is one of the confusing things about this full moon energy. A lot of people are, are saying, you know, I got to do my mission or something's blocking me from my mission. Okay, and if you're feeling very strongly that there's something here to do, but like you can't take off with it, you can't manifest it. And you may find out that there's subtleties to that mission that you need to discover so that you can be most effective. Because in all honesty, what's the highest and best of you? If you go off half cocked, if you go someplace and you're on a mission, but you're not fully or as deeply integrated, how are you going to have more access to the higher love so that you can be who you came here to be? That's going to be the most help for people. So not banging your head against the wall, that's a part of it. But also pacing yourself. And I do talk about that in here. We can talk about certain things having to do because there's a lot of people who see things in the world and they'd love to make changes. And yet what you will find is that people will get on your nerves and you might have this, you know, like, but I love people, but I can't stand people, but I love people, but they're mean to animals, but I love people, but they pollute the environment, but I love people. And, you know, that, but how do you remove the buts? <laughs> how do you remove it? And how do you get it where it doesn't affect you or your union? How do you get everybody off your one last frayed nerve and this is where people are also struggling their immune systems their central nervous system you're having another go around of it or you're having a first go around of it how so this is also addressed in several of my webinars the healing psyche mind and body part one and two and a time of miracles and dreams so if you're interested in some of the ways of how do you integrate and then seal off your gates, the very thing she tried to do in a human way, I should have changed my locks, I should have made you leave your key, I wanted to close you off so you could never be back to bother me. Okay? And doing it with words, that's not going to cut it. Doing it through your body where you seal your gates, that's how. How do you seal in your essence, your sweet pie filling? How do you seal yourself in? I talk about that in here. And also, <clears throat> I do private sessions. I will be doing what I do in here and a little bit more on a private basis, which is your Galactic Subtle Bodies session, along with Cosmic Heart Reconnection or the Spirit Chat. So if you have had a session with me and you'd like to follow up choose the spirit chat if you're not sure you just have a few questions you want to ask ask the spirit chat ask through the spirit chat schedule it I, there is no waiting list there is um, a calendar on my website and you can select the time that works for you or if there's a time that you're not sure maybe you're in a different time zone write to me and my website is www.twinflamesmerge.com. And I call it that because that is what I'm here to teach. I'm here to teach about your bodies, your subtle bodies, and getting you to the point where merging together is seamless. And as I mentioned in my last video, you have people that are together that sometimes the intensity and the day in and day out of living together, especially if there's kids around, makes it very challenging to do this. And yet your vibrations will be heightened because you're together. If you're not together, some of this stuff will be easier, especially the getting to know you and knowing about things part. But you will be, yes, lonely. You might feel as though you know nobody cares or, or you're just so isolated. That is a part of the process. So if you'd like to join, I encourage you to do so. The links are below. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you to everyone who has joined. It has been lively. Uh, several people have written afterwards saying they really needed to hear something or they got some answers. It was good to hear from other people. You are in a closed, protected environment. 
It's not the Wild West of social media for a reason. This is done in a closed session. And it is also um, this one here, the healing psyche, because the psyche is a lot of what has um, been wounded on people. I'll say wounded and harmed. And why people would say certain things. Why would people say things about their twin? Why would they suddenly start perceiving things or perceiving some of the behaviors? Whereas before, you might have been numbed out to it or your twin has been. And so many of you are sensitive. You have huge hearts. You're here to do great things. You're here to be lovers and make love. That is the hugest part, is to be able to make the third energy. And until your body is ready to hold that higher, yes, it is a process. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you. Please have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your week. And remember, keep calm. The Blu-rays are on it. I am one of the Blu-rays, and these are quite great materials that I have. So thanks. Bye now.